what is going on it is solo e and in this video this is going to be specifically for all of my crypto gurus and crypto enthusiasts out there i know i've been actually getting a lot asked a lot about this and i know you guys are interested to know pretty much what some strategies you can use to trade simple bitcoin you can even trade avax or icp or solana or anything like that and i'm going to be breaking down a really cool strategy that you can actually use as a beginner and even advance just to make a simple hundred dollars a day now that being said you do actually need a broker if you are strictly looking to trade crypto and futures and so forth and the broker i'm going to be using is prime xbt so that being said with prime xbt it is a all-in-one crypto futures broker not only that they also have forex for anybody here that trades forex and cfds i know that's mainly what my channel is about and you're probably seeing this and you probably trade futures or you trade forex so you definitely want to get into crypto only this is definitely the platform for that so if you strictly focus on crypto i definitely highly recommend checking out prime xbt so let's go ahead and talk about a uh, strategy that i use all the time when i trade not only that use this for crypto first and foremost you want to go ahead and sign up the link is in the description and you guys can get in tune with it they're using trading view so this is going to be a very simple process nothing too extreme first thing is we need to identify the most recent range so we have to understand what a range is in order for us to even try to figure out this strategy basically a range is a history of data from a previous time so if we are looking at a yearly time frame right now and we're asking ourselves within this year where is zero and a hundred meaning where is a and b so if we say within this year price started at a hundred dollars and the end of the year ended at let's say five hundred dollars that is our range now based off that range price will always fluctuate within that range meaning it will create what we call equilibrium a balance in between that range it, when we say balance it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to go to let's say 50 percent of that but it will come close to balancing that out it's kind of like when you guys see a trend it doesn't always go up it will always go up pull back go up pull back well guess what that's what's going on especially when it comes to avax bitcoin ethereum very traditional cryptocurrencies pairs out there with like i said avax and any other cryptos out there in the future side this is what happens in any market regardless it will always hit up balance it out and then go it's kind of like simple fact when you see the market is at very extreme high and you're like i can't afford this no more what do you think the smart money guys the big guys are going to do they're going to find a balance in between the starting rate and the end it's almost like when the stock market is at an all-time high or real estate is at an all-time high and inflation is really high and we all now know we can't afford anything well obviously they have to bring that price back down some way somehow so they will find a balance in between previous years or previous data or previous range so that being said what we will be doing is looking for that most recent range and it's very important to know which range to pay attention to because you will have range inside of range a range inside of a range and a range inside of a range it's very idea to understand what range to focus on and then from that range you want to be able to map out an idea where that pullback can occur and end at so you can get in at the right time our whole thought process is all right if we get in here 50 percent in this range ideally we can look for that move and that's really all we're looking for that's really all we're looking for so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this looks in the chart like i said you could trade other pairs this is just one pair i'm going to use since i scout mainly and then like i said if you ever want to come into prime xbt like i said use the link down below you do get a sign in bonus as well not only that but like i told you earlier you do have other pairs you can trade too if you want to get into that and like i said we're dealing more in the crypto side of future so you guys can see that let's go ahead and dive into this now first thing is always favorite your time frames because it's easier just to get in and out so we're not using any indicators at all if you guys want to use the volume indicator you can but we're not using any indicators at all which is real cool about this so i always like to start off at the four hour just to ask myself where are we at are we at an all-time daily high all-time weekly high where are we at a market right now i see we are actually in a good prominent area due to the fact that we don't have a lot of structure from previous data so that tells me markets still can head up and i do see market heading up very simple because if we pay close attention let me go ahead and favorite this trend line here if we pay close attention we see that this has been 
going up. And then if we were to scale down on a smaller scale, we see that we have been creating a very, very impulsive trend. That being said, if I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh yeah, I see we're still going up, we're still going up. My whole thought process is I'm looking for bias because we're creating new highs, we're creating new highs, we're creating new highs. Now, another thing I also look for on a one hour scale is what I like to call quiddity. I always like to see where the most recent high is at, and then I like to see it tap in that area twice because that tells me there's money there. And that tells me smart money will definitely come to that area. We definitely have liquidity in two different areas right now. How I like to go about this is first I ask myself, all right, have we either broke to the upside or to the downside? We haven't even did either or. So now what I am going to be doing is if I come over here and take my Fibonacci, now this is where range comes in play. So I talked about the range earlier. The range is the A to the B point. So that being said, we need to find where is that most recent broker structure to the upside and most recent broker structure to the downside. So if I was just to draw lines in every high and every low I see, I can just map out and know ideally where we're at. So as you see here, we've had a high, a high and a high. Where was the most recent high that broke? And it was this one. So guess what? This is now my A leg. So it would be the same thing for when you're looking at this for the most recent lows. We had a low here, we had a low here. Where's the most recent low that broke? This right here. So this is my B point. So this is where I would be drawing my Fibonacci. Since this is what I like to call liquidity, a potential liquidity phase, this also can be seen as a very basic Elliott wave pattern. I'm more so interested in the trend going up. How I like to look at this is since I see this on a one hour plan, very beautiful. I just jump straight to the 15 minute. Within the 15 minute, this is literally what I'm looking for. I see that we broke this high. Since we broke this high, I don't usually get in aggressively by a buy stop usually i do a buy stop above this i would just do a market entry and the, and the stop is basically very simple you just come over here to stop and you pretty much add a buy stop or a sell stop and a buy stop is if price breaks above this it will enter in for you automatically or you can just do a market execution depending on where you're at or you can do a limit order so let's talk about the limit order so if you decide to do a limit order i will always say the limit order needs to be 50 percent of that range so seeing that we don't fully know the range here yet, because we haven't, if we scale down on a five minute, we haven't really broke any lows yet. We broke this high right here, but we haven't broke any lows yet. We can't really do a limit order yet, right? We can't do a limit order yet. Only thing we could really do is a market execution, because if we were to draw a range from here to here, or our fifths from here to here, we see 50%. Look right there, 50%. We have a beautiful, like I like to call it a settlement. Settlement is basically known as a POI, area of interest, supply demand level, order blocks, inducement, imbalance, so forth so we had a settlement that settled right here so seeing that that happened this is kind of where we can have our limit order so if we wanted to come in and put a limit order this is ideally what it would be if we know that this is the actual valid range we won't know until we break this low that being said for me i'm just looking for market execution if i'm obviously focused on the charts and i'm looking to take a buy position here and for those that's even interested in kind of taking this to the extreme they have this feature where it's just like forex like i said you have a margin but you can add it your margin on the go which is really cool you can have a set margin at 150x or you can isolate it and set your own at 2x uh, you can go up to 5x you can go up to 10x you can go all the way up to 75x so it's really up to you how you want to go about choosing your margin type which i like i find really cool because with forex you know with a lot of forex brokers you have to set it in the back end and then it's just fixed this you can kind of set it as you go which is really cool for all my people that trade crypto um now that being said that's pretty much how we will take this strategy and make money like i said if you guys haven't watched any of my previous videos make sure you watch it because this is the same strategy i use to grow my four thousand dollar to forty thousand dollar while we were via live youtube stream literally live youtube stream we grew that we also did another uh, account growth i believe a thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars on live as well so that being said if you guys want to see all of that subscribe to my youtube channel so you can t stay in tune with our live streams and learn more about these strategies other than that i hope this video did justice i will see you guys in my next video the boy solo i'm out peace